In this tutorial, we'll look at how to create your Bootstrap 5 nav bars with logo and text. Okay, so I've created a simple project here. I've linked to both the CSS and the JavaScript um, of Bootstrap, so make sure you have both of them. You can get them to go by the, going to their website on the homepage. They always show you the latest version, and then they show you how to include this with their CDN links. So I'm just going to copy the basic example because, you know, with these bigger components, you're not going to remember all of these classes and all of the HTML, so you're not going to be able to code this from scratch properly. So better to just, to just go to the docs and copy one of their examples and then modify it to get exactly what you want. So when you do that, let's see if I save here, we get this light themed uh, nav bar. And we want this so i'm quickly gonna you know make make some changes here so i'm gonna remove this disabled and we just have two links i think let's see yeah okay we'll say just some link here and we want this to be a dark color in the background so we can say instead of bg light this is the default they include we can say bg dark right now when you make it a dark background color we want the text and everything to be light so you can actually theme you can actually add another theme class to this navbar called navbar dark which will actually make the text light that's a little bit counterintuitive perhaps um a bit confusing but this is how it works then i want to align this to the left to the right side so what you can do is you can go to let's see navbar nav you can say on the left side well in bootstrap 5 it's called ms for margin start and you have margin end for the right side if if you're you know coming from a left to right uh, language there are some languages out there that start from right to left right that's why they have included um start and end now to have like an abstraction on top of that so now we have this now we want to restrain the width a little bit more so that's going to be the container class container fluid will stretch all the way we want to have a little bit more uh, restriction so we now it's going to be you know, like this okay so then how do we add the logo and the tag so this is actually just part of the navbar brand and you can just remove this i can just add an image here right so you can find an image that you like or just your your logo that's just going to be an image element in the navbar brand right so this navbar brand make sure that there's some padding on the right side so that if you have you know links there it's not sitting right against each other it also removes, right, it's an anchor tag, so it also removes that de default blue color that you get with anchor tags, right, it has some styling. But you can just add an image here, I've given it a class of logo, and then some text next to it, for example, bootstrap. And now we have an image or logo with some text. Now when you do this, often you get issues with vertical alignment. So you can see the logo is sitting a little bit too low here. So what you can do is you can just select the logo, and you can move it up or down, right? So with transform, there is rotate. You can rotate an element. You can scale something bigger or smaller. You can also move them up or down. So to move them up, you can use translate Y, right? Vertical axis, and then you need to use a negative number, right? So it's really important that you master CSS and JavaScript. Those are the underlying fundamentals for Bootstrap. So, you know, if you're a web developer, make sure you have mastered them. I have courses on them. Definitely check them out if you want to take them to a professional advanced level. You can find the links in the description. So if I save here, you can see the logo has moved up a little bit and now it's more, um, you know, better vertically aligned, right? So that's how you can add an image and a, or a logo and text in the Bootstrap nav bar. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.